Thanks, Laura. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for uh, signing up to um, learn more about Trafalgar. And uh, I just want to introduce myself quickly. I'm, I'm Rob Blows, and I'm Vice President of Blow Stewart Travel. And I'm uh, based in Stratford. And um, we are pleased to uh, offer these Wednesday webinar series. And, and tonight we have um, Laura Hamry, who's the uh, sales manager for, for Trafalgar for Ontario. Um, Laura and I have known each other for a long, long time. Go way back. Long time. And <laughs> a long time. And uh, uh, so we, when we Laura reached out, said, "Don't know how long we've known each other, but we never." Yeah, leave, we won't tell so anybody. Exactly. Possible. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, Laura reached out and suggested that uh, you know we, we she just wanted to bring um, uh, people up to date on what's going on uh, with uh, with the Trafalgar brand, and and um, you know so we decided let's put this together, and and uh, you know it's not designed really to sell travel at this time because you know we're nobody should be going anywhere right now but certainly you should be planning right now and there's a, some good reasons to plan and and um, some advantages to to booking early but uh, I will let Laura delve into that a little more in her um, in her presentation here today which we are recording and we're going to be posting it uh, in a few days we'll post it on the the, the blow Stewart travel YouTube channel so if you want to go back and listen to it or forward it to a friend or whatever uh, it'll be available at that time so thank you very much I will uh, stop talking now because you didn't sign on to listen to me and I'll uh, introduce you to Laura well thank you Rob and thanks everybody for coming on um, I do want to just point out a couple of things on the little dash cam that you have for um, go to webinar there is a box for you to put questions in so if you do have questions throughout the presentation do please feel free to uh, fill them in there and we'll answer the questions at the end um, right now I am going to turn off my webcam and I'm going to hopefully you'll be able to see my screen here so I'm going to take you through um, a little bit about who Trafalgar is for some of you, you may not be as familiar maybe you have traveled with us before what makes us stand apart and then also talking a bit about our well-being protocols um, some of our popular itineraries as well just to keep that inspiration going so I'm going to turn off my webcam now all right okay so let's get started so again thanks everyone so much for coming out tonight to listen as i say please do feel free to put questions into the chat box throughout we will take care of those later as rob mentioned i'm laura and i'm the uh, sales manager business development manager for ontario um, travel is definitely a passion of mine and uh, love love to share it with with everyone i know we're all on hold right now but that doesn't mean we can't keep dreaming so a little bit about who Trafalgar is. So Trafalgar is actually part of a larger company called the Travel Corporation. Um, you may be familiar with some of our sister brands as well. Perhaps you've done a river cruise with Uniworld, or maybe when you were younger, you traveled with Contiki, um, which is for your 18 to 35s. Uh, we also have Insight Vacations as part of the family. And also the Red Carnation Hotel chain is also part of uh, the Travel Corporation. All in all, we have over 50 different brands that are under the Travel Corporation and Trafalgar is actually the largest of those brands. We've been around for um, just about 75 years as this year is our 75th anniversary of Trafalgar. So named as well because our first office was actually in Trafalgar Square in the UK in London. But it really is what makes us stand apart with Trafalgar is that we really are about giving you not just the iconic sites, but also giving you those immersive and wonderful experiences. So getting you off the beaten track, giving you those opportunities to um, connect with local people, things that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do on your own. We do have many different ways to travel and explore. So I know there's sometimes a misconception about um, touring and, and coach touring that it's always going to be go, go, go and very, very busy. But there really are lots of different options of travel styles out there for you. So no matter what way you like to travel, we really do have something for everybody. So whether it be 
our discovery trips, which we'll take in multi countries, or maybe you want to go in and immerse yourself into a specific region. Um, an example of that would be our, our Roman Tuscany itinerary, which takes you up into the Tuscan hills and you do some cooking classes and really get to immerse yourself into the um, region. We also do family experiences and something we are finding um, much more, more popular year over year are those multi-generational trips and grandparents wanting to take the kids and the grandkids maybe back to the homeland or, or going back to uh, just those experiences together. <clears throat> we also offer city explorers which really give you that immersive experience in one specific city but as you'll go through our brochure when you're talking to your travel consultant at Blows um, there really is something for everybody. So as I mentioned, we uh, this is actually now our 75th year um, in business. We do travel to all seven continents, um, many, many, over hundreds of different trips to choose from. But what's most important for us is that we have over 5 million happy guests who have traveled with us. And most people, when you have traveled with us one time, you will definitely want to come back and travel again. So we have a really great repeat factor and you know, our guests get to build great relationships with our travel directors and with fellow travelers and it is a, a really great way to see the world. When you are looking and you're planning and you're dreaming right now, another great place to go is to look at our reviews. So we use a company called FIFO and you'll see these on the website, but also when you're talking to your travel consultant, maybe you find an itinerary that you're, you're interested in and you're not sure if it is the perfect fit for you. These are a great tool for you to use to really make sure that you are picking the right holiday for you. So overall, out of all of our trips, we have a 4.7 out of 5 guest satisfaction rating, which we're very, very proud of. And you can actually go in and read um, reviews from fellow travelers who've been on the trip. So, you know, their experiences with the travel directors and the hotels and um, what's included. And you can really kind of get a feeling too, whether it's the right pace for you or if it really is the right fit for you. So it's nice to be able to have that um, connection. And these are third, um, this is a third party company that we use. So we have no control over these. These are completely um, out of our hands, but they do actually go in and put those um, reviews onto our website. So that is something that you can um, check out and, and make sure that you are picking the perfect holiday for you. Something else that's very important to us is making travel matter. <clears throat> um, and you'll find when you're looking through the itineraries and you're reading through the itineraries, you'll see examples of these on every single trip and every place that we go. So we really do um, think about the planet. You know, we, we have a lot of different um, initiatives throughout the world. One, one that comes to mind is actually at the Giants Causeway in, in um, Northern Ireland where we um, were a major sponsor for their visitor center. So again, giving back to that place and making sure that that location and that destination is going to be there for future generations, preserving places and wildlife. Um, we also have eliminated all plastic water bottles on coaches and anywhere we can, we, we look at what we can do to, to ensure that we are reducing our carbon footprint. And also about helping people. So whether it be um, visiting with local artisans to ensure that they're going to have that um, that skill that they can pass along to future generations and share with, with um, our fellow travelers or working with local farmers, um, local restaurateurs. And as we know right now, it's so important to support local. And something that I'm very proud of too, when it comes to Trafalgar, and we have a nonprofit organization called the Treadwright Foundation, but all of the local um, um, initiatives that we do worldwide, even though we haven't been able to go and experience them firsthand right now for the last uh, you know, few months, we've still been supporting all of our local producers and all of our local um, initiatives to ensure that they are going to be able to be there for us when we come back and to make sure that they're you know, able to continue doing what they do and they love and they're passionate about. So I'm going to kind of talk right now a little bit about um, our book with confidence guarantee because we know right now everything is still a little bit on hold. Um, but as Rob had mentioned, this is the perfect time to be planning and to be dreaming because um, when things do start to open up, we know that things are going to start to get very, very busy. Um, we're going to talk about our well-being protocols as well as I'm going to highlight some of our popular itineraries, both here within Canada and also around the world.
So when it comes to our booking conditions, we do have very flexible booking conditions in place. So we have our trip reassurance guarantee. So your money is very well protected and safe and your trip is going to be well protected for you. We have our flexible deposits. So it is a $200 deposit typically that we have. Um, but right now you have up to 30 days from the time of putting your deposit down to make sure that you do have that um, you pick the perfect trip. If for some reason you change your mind, you can go ahead and get a refund. After that time, it does go into a future travel credit, um, which is part of our typical, our, our traditional um, deposit protection plan, which is good for five years. And we also have flexible change options. So perhaps you're looking to travel and you think, maybe I wanna hold off for a little while, or maybe I wanna change my destination. Um, that is no problem at all. You have flexible change options as well, where you can change your departure, change your destination up to 30 days prior to departure without any penalties whatsoever. And when it comes to your well-being on board, so of course, always 100%, it's always been our most, um, our highest priority is you, of course, our travelers. Um, but we do have amazing travel directors and amazing drivers who are always there for you. But on top of those two things, we also have introduced a dedicated well-being director who will be traveling with you while you're traveling with us with Trafalgar. So this well-being director, where we'll be working with the travel director and the driver, so ensuring that all the restaurants and hotels and all the attractions and everything that we do along the way is going to make sure that all of their um, hygiene and their, their um, protocols, their health protocols are in place. So it allows you to just be able to sit back, relax, and not have to worry about a thing. Everything is going to be taken care of for you. You're going to be very, very well taken care of. Um, on the coaches, there's going to be fully sanitized each evening, as well as all the touch points throughout the day. We have 24-7 um, uh, response teams that are there in destination as well. So we worked with the World Travel and Tourism uh, Organization as well as the World Health Organization. So we're going to be making sure, of course, we always make sure that all the um, protocols are in place to their standards as well as, of course, to our standards that we've always had along the way. So again, that you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy these amazing destinations and the experiences that you have with Trafalgar. So it really is about handcrafted vacations and that's something that we really um, take pride in and we uh, our guests love is that opportunity to go and experience something a little bit different. So we take care of all the details for you. We also give you those opportunities to have those amazing experiences, those connections with the local people and all of that leads to the real joy. So I'm just going to kind of take you through some of the unique things that we do with Trafalgar. So when it comes to connections, as I mentioned, it really is um, Something that we're very, very much in, is important to us is giving back to local communities and working with local producers. Um, so we offer um, our Be My Guest experiences in every destination, which gives our guests the opportunity to go and meet with local people. And this just happens to be one actually um, not too far from us here in, in Ontario, which is just down in the Niagara region. I don't know if anybody on the call today has had a chance to go down and visit that area, but beautiful, beautiful area. And on some of our trips that do um, in Eastern Ontario, Ontario and Quebec, they actually go and visit Vineland Estates. And Vineland Estates is a beautiful, beautiful winery down in the Niagara region. Um, you get to learn a little bit more about the wine production there, the ice wines. You have an incredible farm to table meal wine tastings, of course. And again, it's just a nice way to give back and work with local producers. We also offer our dive into culture experiences, and these you'll find as well in all of our itineraries. So this just ha happens to be an example of one that we do in the West. Um, this is in Canmore, Alberta, and it's our hockey experience. I know myself, I, I spent a lot of time watching hockey on TV, but I have never played hockey or tried on the gear. And it gives our guests actually the opportunity to go and learn about the sport. They can try on, you can try on the jersey, you can lace up the skates if you'd like to. You're going to meet with a retired hockey player, um, again, to learn a little bit more about the history of the game, uh, maybe some of the, the superstitions and the things that happen when it comes to professional um, hockey playing. And what also is nice about this is that, again, this, these kinds of experiences, again, give back to the local community. So in this example, with our hockey experience, um, us 
us, visiting this um, region here in Canmore gives back to the local um, youth hockey leagues where they gives them the opportunity, the kids to go out and actually play the sport and to, uh, to keep that dream of going of being professional hockey players. <clears throat> We have our local specialists as well. Um, and again, local specialists with us are more than just your typical tour guide. Um, these really are specialists in a particular area. So whether it be a historian, um, uh, for example, when I was in, in Florence, we went to the uh, Academy of Fine Arts, so Michelangelo and getting to see David. And when we went into the Academy of Fine Arts, our guide was not, our specialist was not just a regular guide. It was actually an art historian who really is able to immerse you into the destination and, and to give you a little bit more history of Michelangelo and, and, and what he does and, and just what's so unique about um, his sculptures. And here is another example where we actually meet with a retired RCMP officer, um, a Mountie in his full dress uniform. And again, <clears throat> to learn about um, the history of the RCMP and, and just what it's like to be um, part of it. Um, and guests, of course, you get to have that opportunity to have your picture taken with a RCMP officer in their full dress uniform. So um, really quite a neat experience that we have, um, again, in the West Coast of Canada. When it comes to iconic sites and attractions, of course, we always give you that VIP access and it's more important now, of course, than ever to have that. Um, so beautiful Hopewell Rocks, of course, in New Brunswick. Um, for those who haven't had an opportunity to go here, it is a great, very unique experience where you get to have that opportunity to walk across the, uh, the sea floor um, when the tides go out. So the tides at the Bay of Fundy are very, very, um, you know, such a, a drastic change um, between low tide and high tide. So it's nice to know, of course, when it's the perfect time to go. So you have that opportunity to walk on the, the ocean floor, or of course, when you come back later in the day, you could actually have that opportunity to go kayaking around the beautiful Hopewell Rocks. But when it comes to iconic sites and attractions, we do have unique experiences everywhere. Another very unique experience we have um, this one in Italy is at the Vatican is that we actually go and do something called the Vatican experience. So again, where it gives you the opportunity to do things that are different than what you would get with other companies or be able to do on your own. So at the Vatican, we actually go in after it closes to the general public and then you get to go and have almost like a private um, experience in the Vatican museums and stay there for dinner. So it's quite unique. Something else we offer as well on many of our itineraries are unique stays with stories. So this is in church, uh, just outside of Churchill, Manitoba. So in Northern Manitoba, getting to stay at the Tundra Buggy Lodge. And this is on our polar bears in Northern Manitoba. So if you're a, an animal lover, if you've ever had that on your bucket list to go and experience the polar bears in um, Northern Manitoba, it's really quite a unique experience. So getting to go out there and stay right on the tundra. <clears throat> of course, we have the uh, tundra buggies that you can go out and really get close to the wildlife. And many of our itineraries as well are also there during the um, Northern Lights. And Northern Lights in, in Northern Manitoba are one of the best places to view the Northern Lights in the entire world. So again, very unique experiences that we offer. <clears throat> We also offer memorable meals. So again, um, we try to get you out of the hotels and into local restaurants. So again, you get that opportunity to have local flavors, local local experiences. And this is Dan's Diner. So again, this is located um, attached to the Tundra Buggy Lodge, but you get the opportunity to try some local flavors. So whether it be Arctic char or elk. Um, and can you just imagine when you can see here with all the beautiful windows, um, if you're there during the, the uh, Northern Lights, can you imagine just sitting there having your meal having a glass of wine, enjoying your meal, and just taking in that beautiful light show of the Northern Lights. It's just such a cool experience to be able to have. And you're going to find all of these different things that I'm talking about are highlighted throughout each itinerary. So it's really nice to be able to have those unique features and those unique things available to you on every itinerary with Trafalgar, no matter where you travel in the world. Again, giving back to local communities or working with local artisans with our Treadwright Foundation and with our Trafalgar, our joint Trafalgar initiative, this just happens to be an example of one we do as well in Canada, which is our Story Boot School through the Manitoba Mucklucks. And this is a really unique project where we pair um, artisans, so uh, elder artisans who are making the mucklucks, and they're teaching the younger generation how to do the beadwork, how to actually create them from um, from from uh, from 
just just such a unique feature to be able to, to pound the leathers and to put the feathers on and to do the beadwork and it's just again giving back to the local communities all of these things that are included sometimes we get asked well will i have any time for myself or is everything going to be planned for me absolutely not we always have that opportunity for you to go and explore and to uh, do things on your own but what is nice is that you aren't completely on your own so this is beautiful charlottetown so when you're in charlottetown and if you're wanting to go and have the perfect you know fish and chip experience or whatever it may be maybe you want to find a little pub on victoria row there really is something for everybody, but you have those local specialists, you have those travel directors who are going to be there for you, who are basically like a concierge for you, who will be able to give you plans and experiences along the way. We do offer trip enhancements. So these are things that are um, not when these are these are additional. Um, these are not mandatory. You don't have to do them, but they are going to be available to you. So optional kind of experiences that really are just there to enhance your trip. So it could be whale watching, for example, in Victoria, or perhaps uh, night when dinner is not included, because we do include, of course, breakfast daily, and about half your dinners are included on your itineraries with Trafalgar, but maybe it's a night when dinner is not included, so there might be some sort of um, dinner and entertainment that you can um, uh, choose. So, all of that, of course, leads to real ease. And this is one of my favorite pictures I, I ever got to take when I was in Newfoundland. For those who haven't been to Newfoundland, of course, it is one of those great bucket list destinations for Canadians. Um, but, you know, all these things being handled for you. So having the opportunities to meet with local people, to have those incredible local specialists who are there for you, the Be My Guest experiences, the uh, VIP access to those iconic sites, all of those things will lead you to real ease. So you can just kick back, relax, and enjoy your destination find a nice little cafe, go off and explore. It's just uh, the best of both worlds for you. So I just want to kind of highlight a few of our popular itineraries that we have, um, both here within Canada and also a couple of itineraries in Europe, because um, although we're on hold right now, it is always great to keep the dream going. So our spectacular Canadian Rockies, very popular trip that starts in Vancouver, finishes in Calgary, um, what's nice about this one too is that if you maybe want to extend, you can extend and add on perhaps the Rocky Mountaineer, which is that beautiful scenic train journey throughout the Rockies. And also the Calgary Stampede is an option for an extension here as well. But you're going to be visiting Vancouver. You've got a night there where you can head out to the Richmond Market, um, explore, explore the city. Um, we head over to Victoria for a couple of nights and, of course, to Butcher Gardens, um, Kamloops, up to Jasper, so beautiful Jasper, and you get to check out the Fairmont property there, um, over to Banff, and then, of course, finishing in Calgary. So um, the Icefields Parkway is part of this, Malign Lake. There's lots of great, unique experiences. And our Connect with Local experience when we're over in Victoria is visiting the Bird's Eye Cove. Um, again, just a unique um, wine experience so when you're in the wine region and our, our um, destination specialists really go out there and look for something that's unique and something that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else um, so they, they do have a great way of um, with the bird's eye cove again it's, it's working with local producers and very much environmentally friendly and just the way that they do the wine production and everything our enchanting Canadian Maritimes uh, itinerary as well very Great itinerary when it comes to the Maritimes. Um, starts and ends in Halifax, so nice and easy there. But again, great experiences here. You've got your, um, you're going to head up to the Cabot Trail. And while you're up on the Cabot Trail, which is just such a beautiful, beautiful scenic drive, um, one of the most scenic drives probably in Canada, if not the world, um, you're going to get to have an amazing Kaylee experience, which is like a kitchen party with music and entertainment and dancing and food and it's just so much fun again unique stays with stories you're going to get to stay at the lord nelson which is a beautiful beautiful historical property in halifax great location about a block away from the harbor front um, right next uh, to the convention center and everything but it's a, just a great location right where it's at um, you're going to be heading over to pei of course and get the green gables experience can't go to PEI without talking about uh, Anna Green Gables, getting to see the um, the red sand beaches. 
Hopewell Rocks, of course, Peggy's Cove, see the iconic lighthouse. So there's really a lot of great um, things included on this trip. And something else that we do on all of our trips, and we don't really talk about them in the brochure, but we always um, have them, are our hidden gems. And with our hidden gems, these are things that you're not going to know about ahead of time, but um, this just happens to be a great hidden gem if you have never been to Halifax, is the lower deck. So these are the kinds of things that your travel directors and your local specialists are going to highlight for you. And with the hidden gems, it could be, um, for example, with the lower deck, it's a great little pub. Um, definitely a, a must visit when you're in Halifax. There's great um, live entertainment there and they've got lots of beers to choose from and good food and just a great time or you know it could be um, the best place to go and get those fish and chips in Charlottetown so again those are the kinds of things you're going to get with hidden gems or maybe they might surprise you with a little baked treat or whatever it may be but you're never going to know about these ahead of time these are always saved as a little treat for you for when you get to destination our scenic wonders in Newfoundland, Labrador, and Ile St. Pierre. So again, this is one of those bucket list kind of destinations for us here in Canada. Um, and what's unique about this trip is that it actually goes to the little island of Ile St. Pierre. And Ile St. Pierre is actually a French island. So there's St. Pierre and Miquelon, which are just off the coast of Newfoundland. This one starts in St. John's, finishes in Cornerbrook. But what's nice is that you do actually take the ferry across and spend the night in Yale St. Pierre. So even though we're staying in Canada for Newfoundland and Labrador, you will have to bring your passport to head over to Yale St. Pierre for the night um, to get that a little bit of that French colonial um, experience there. But again, great experiences included here. You're going to get to meet with a fisherman at his restaurant to learn about the cod fishing industry and to try your hand perhaps at oyster shucking here, all sorts of fun things. And of course, Grossmoor National Park. Um, we spend two nights in this region. There's uh, lots of, you have a couple of different itinerary um, excursions that are included that you can choose from. So um, bus, you know, boat tours and things like that to really get you up close and personal with the wildlife. Of course, we had the gander as well, which has become famous from Come From Away um, after 9-11. Lots of great experiences on our scenic um, wonders of Newfoundland, Labrador, and Ile St. Pierre. Now moving across the pond to Ireland, and again, uh, moving from Newfoundland to Ireland, there's so many similarities between um, Newfoundland and Ireland. And I have to say, my very first time visiting Newfoundland, and we had our guide in St. John's, he had gone across to Ireland for a visit. And when he was there, um, he was from a little town not far from St. John's, but when he went across to Ireland and he started talking to somebody, they asked him if he was from a particular town in Ireland, and he said, no, I've never, this is my first time to Ireland, I'm actually from this town in, in Newfoundland, but their, their dialect, the accent, had not changed from when his family had emigrated, like, 50, 70 years prior um, from Ireland. So it was pretty neat to, to see that there's still so many connections and so, so much similarities. And one of the things, of course, that is so true for people from Newfoundland as well as from Ireland is that the people are just so warm and welcoming and friendly and it's just such a, a great experience. So with our Irish experience, this one starts and ends in Dublin. So again, easy for your airfare. But you've got the experience, you're going to head up to Belfast, you're going to head to the Titanic, um, uh, Belfast Titanic exhibit, which is actually was the number one tourist attraction in the world. Um, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, of course, you're going to have some experiences there where you can go check out some of the, uh, the sites and, and tours from the Game of Thrones. We're going to head down to Dublin and go to the, uh, of course, um, uh, Trinity College and uh, one of my favorite things that we do on this particular itinerary is the Be My Guest experience with Una. So when you're heading along the Wild Atlantic Way, which is a beautiful, beautiful um, coastal drive um, in, in Southern Ireland, Una is going to take you out and you're going to actually go and you're going to along the road walking down to this beautiful restaurant which is right on the wild Atlantic way right on the coast and she's going to kind of take you around and and show you some of the local produce and the local um, berries and foods and things like that to forage for the local ingredients and then you're going to go have an amazing meal and just learn how um, all the things that you see along the way are actually being used in the meal so it's really a way to connect and, and to to see um, how there is so much connection with the local um, produce and the local farmers and everything like that. 
Of course, you're also going to head to Giants Causeway. So again, very fun, great experience if you're looking to do Ireland. And local specialists. So this was our local specialist when we were in Belfast. And again, uh, Dee Morgan is this lady's name. And when we talk about local specialists, as I mentioned previous, um, they really do know that destination like the back of their hand. So Dee was actually born and raised in Belfast. So when we had her as our local specialist, I mean, to be able to hear the history and the stories from somebody who grew up and lived through the troubles um, and everything that happened in Northern Ireland and to, to really hear it firsthand, there's nothing quite like it. I mean, it's just, you know, it really brings those destinations and the places that you're traveling to, to life, to have those really authentic local experiences and local specialists. As I mentioned, this is at the Wild Atlantic, uh, the Batara, Bartara Seafood Restaurant with Una. So um, again, those connect with local experiences that really do um, bring your, your, just your destination to, to life. Oh, my computer is going a little crazy. There we go. Okay. Um, best of Italy. So Italy is always a very popular destination, of course. Um, our best of Italy itinerary, and you'll find in our brochure, we have many um, best of experiences. And with our best of Italy itinerary, you're going to start and end in Rome. But again, getting to go and have that unique experience of the Vatican Museum, where you're going to be able to go into areas of the Vatican that are um, close to the public. You're going to have an amazing connect with local experience with Signor Tali um, at his restaurant, which is on a beautiful island in Isola Madre. Um, you have a unique stay with story here as well, where you're actually going to get to spend the uh, spend the night in an old monastery that's been converted into a hotel. So very, very unique experiences that we have on our, BMI, our Best of Italy itinerary. Something else that we are finding is that many, many of you are liking to travel perhaps as multi-generational or you're looking to travel with friends and family, um, looking to do more small group and more traveling within your social bubble. So we have actually created new private group tours that are available to you to book, um, like our Best of Italy itinerary, for example. So normally our coaches, uh, our group size would be between 30 and 40 guests. But you can actually have your own private trip from as little as 12 guests. And you basically will just take whatever the price is in the brochure and you'll just add a surcharge onto it. So you will know which itineraries can have these private group tours by a little logo here. So please do reach out to your travel consultant if you are thinking about perhaps traveling in your own little social bubble. And we can go ahead and, and get information for you on that. So we do have some current offers on right now. Um, right now we have our breakout and break free savings where you can save up to 12.5% on uh, 2021 and 2022 holidays. And if you are a past traveler with us, we do have some past traveler discounts as well. Um, just a reminder, we do have our cancel for any reason um, policy on as well. Um, and these are for book by March 4th. <coughs> With our past traveler discounts, if you've traveled with any of our family of brands, so whether it be Trafalgar, um, our sister brand, Cost Saver, Insight, Gina World, you can save up to an additional 5% off of your trip um, just by travel, having traveled with one of our sister brands or with us in the past. And that is really the overview. So I'm going to turn my webcam back on and I'll get Rob back on and then I'll check for some questions. All right, I think, hello, all right. Okay, <clears throat> there's got my webcam on as well. I'm just um, looking to see. Somebody had a hand raised. Now, does anybody have any questions? <laughs> I see somebody had had a problem apparently with the presentation. So I hope that not everybody had problems with the presentation. Did it come up okay for you, Rob? Yes, I, I followed it just fine. It was it was all good. Um, okay. So, excuse Perfect. me, if there's well, any question, if there's any questions that anybody thinks of after the fact, certainly reach out to uh, to us here at, at uh, Blows and Stewart Travel to your 
travel advisor or or um, uh, by email or give us a call. Yeah. And we'll be happy to help you out. And, and so uh, then. Thank yeah, you everybody very good. for listening Thank today. You. And uh, I hope you found a little bit of inspiration. You got to keep got to keep the dream of travel going and I can't wait till we can get out there and start exploring again. So, um and if you have a destination, if there's something you would like to learn more about, yes, absolutely. Reach out to your travel consultant at Blows and uh they'll be able to assist you. They got a fantastic team. Thanks very much for joining us everyone and thank you, Laura. Thank you, Rob. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.